Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe, and we're in West Virginia today. Melissa and I came down here uh, last night. It's first thing in the morning right now. It's about five minutes to seven. Uh, I left her at the uh, hotel for a little bit. It's about uh, 25 minutes from here. She's got some stuff to do this morning, so I'm going to get started working here, and I will go back and pick her up in just a bit. First thing on the agenda, we're going to get to work on this cherry tree right here. Now this one's got some hard lean going that direction right there. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig around it with the excavator. Kind of take my time, get it loosened up quite a bit. I would like to try to push this thing that direction. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. I have a little bit of an opening that way. It's not too bad over here, but I will have some collateral damage if it goes that way. But uh, it definitely needs to come down. To give you an idea what this is going to look like, you can see my truck down there. Driveway is going to come up through here. Take this cherry tree down right here. Little cherry tree right there. And we're going to head that direction.
All right, not too shabby. It's only about 20 after 7. I didn't get started till about 5 after, but I got this cherry down and pulled back. It didn't go exactly where I wanted. I kind of wanted it over in here, but with all that lean this direction, went this way. But I didn't really have any damage on uh, any of the other trees. What I'll do, I'll get my chainsaw, start limbing this out. I just found something here. It's been in front of me the whole time, and I just kind of discovered it right now. You see this area right in here? I've been looking for somewhere to uh, get rid of some piles of dirt. I have some down there. I have some over behind the excavator. I think I can waste that uh, down in here. You know, I got a little bit of an opening here, and if I only put it in here like a foot thick, you'll never notice it. My goal here is when this driveway's done, I want it to look like it's been here for years. In other words, I don't want piles of dirt, piles of brush and stumps laying around. So uh, any excess dirt, I want to kind of blend in and uh, get it tracked in. And by next spring, you'll get some ground vegetation on it. You'll never know it was there. So that's kind of the plan. But anyway, right now I'm going to grab a saw. I'm going to uh, limb this one out. I'll clean this up right in here. This will be a good place to uh, stack some firewood poles in here. I'll get a bunch out of this one. I have some in that uh, brush pile right there. I need to go through it. And then down at the very end, there's a maple over there. I'll bring that all up, set it over here. Have my brush pile over there. Stumps right there, which I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with that. A lot of people said just dig a big hole, put the stumps in it. But then you've got a big pile of dirt to get rid of. So we'll see. That is, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. That is a possibility down in here, but just as long as I can get rid of the dirt.
Earlier I mentioned that today's video was sponsored by Simply Safe, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with Simply Safe, it's an incredibly effective, very easy to use, and easy to install security system for your home. Now we've had our Simply Safe system now for about three years, and it has worked flawlessly and has been glitch free since the day that I installed it. Installation was a breeze. I'm not the most techy kind of person out there but I had the entire system up and running in a single evening and we love it. We really do, especially, you know, like today, we are down here in West Virginia at the new property, two and a half hours from home. I can check the doorbell cam. I can check the cams over the parking area, cameras in the new building. I get notification if someone comes to the door. Uh, Levi's there at the house today with Hunter, but it's nice being able to keep your eyes on things when you're not home. Something else worth a mention when it comes to the ease of installation. Since you can do it yourself, you don't have strangers in your home installing a security system. Simply Safe also offers affordable 24 7 live monitoring protection by Simply Safe's professional monitoring agents ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs in an emergency. Monitoring services cost less than a dollar a day. That's less than half the cost of traditional home security brands. Besides ease of installation, affordable, another one of my favorite features of the Simply Safe system is their outdoor wireless security camera. We have three of them, work great, use them all the time. Bottom line is this, if you're interested in security for your home, it is a great system. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it today. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash morgans to learn more. I'm gonna head down to the uh, hotel, pick up Melissa. We might even get some breakfast. I think I'm actually gonna get done uh, what I need to do pretty early today. I only have two more trees to take out. And then right where you pull in the driveway, you've got kind of a little hump there. I need to cut that hump out. And, uh, but yeah, things are going pretty good. I think the next trip down here, I'll probably uh, bring the BX and the brush hog down and kind of get out ahead of me you know out in the direction that we're headed we're back into those red pine now and uh you know kind of see where we're going to go where we'd like to put a cabin or whatever but uh that's the plan so i just picked up melissa and somehow i ended up here This is just a thought, exploring all our options. I just told them, this is just a thought. We're kind of exploring our options, but boy, this would, uh, this would get you up and running pretty quick here. Let's check out the upstairs. Obviously you'd need to finish it on the inside. Huh. Pretty cool design. You could shoot deer from out here. Huh. Nice little design though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, Nice steep roof for the snow up there. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I see. They did the same. That's why. Okay. Yeah. Grab a book. Okay. Let's go move some dirt. Okay. That's actually a pretty cool little setup right there. Yeah. Boy, they look nice up in those pines, wouldn't it? Yeah. Hunter would love the porch swing. This is more like a little classy little work shed or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A she shed. White pine. Maybe we could trade them a bunch of logs for a... Uh... Hey, yeah. <laughs> Here, build us a fist. Yeah, you could get this one and put the grandkids next door. And Archie. Archie's, Archie's house. A little greenhouse there. That's pretty. As far as... Uh, 
pre-built sheds go. The, these are pr pretty nice. This is like, so they must haul this in, I don't even, I don't know how many pieces they haul this thing in. All right, and two, one, two. Garage with an upstairs. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess thirty-three thousand. Thirty space, all these options. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I wasn't too far off. With free delivery. If nothing else, uh, this gives you some good ideas, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this one is uh, 24 by 24. It's got the carriage doors, you know, the dormers, overhangs. 35 grand anymore, that's the price of a used car. Or a camper. So I almost didn't stop here, and Melissa's like, why don't you just swing in there? I'm actually glad I did. Uh, these things are pretty nice. We got some brochures. We'll do some thinking on this, but uh, you can get these in all different sizes. And those hinges aren't like hurricane straps. They are actually hinges. They take this thing out, it folds down, they stand it back up, you know, get it all set up, and uh, you're good to go. Instant cabin. Like I said, we never even uh, considered an option like this until I saw that shed that uh, my sister got a couple weeks ago. And the way they brought that in, I was very impressed. We could actually check with that company as well and see what all they do. But uh, we're not saying this is the direction we're going to go, but uh, we just might. I don't know, because we're looking to do something pretty quick so we can stay down here. I don't just know. We'll have to we think don't of, want to eat up funds on stay. We like to stay a couple days to get some stuff done. So you're saving on a trip home when then coming back down in a day. So you yeah. have the fuel. So that money's going towards a hotel room. And we actually just got a uh, a nice tent. That yeah. would, But down here, I'm telling you, from what I hear, and I remember this area in general from working down here, you don't play around in the winter here. They yeah. get a ton of snow here. Uh, so a tent in the middle of winter out of the question for us at least yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah they get a lot of snow down here in the winter but this is definitely something to think about just kind of uh, exploring our options obviously the inside would need finished but boy you could put some insulation in there and a wood burner and you could be in there working in the middle of winter It'd be pretty cool I don't know if you can see that but there is uh, tons of these black birds flying around in these trees here Hopefully they're not getting ready to uh, go south for the winter already. But the Blackbird Convention. Blackbird Convention. So I just changed out of my hoodie into another long sleeve. It is probably, what, 8 to 10 degrees cooler here than at home every time we've come down. And we are like two hours south of our house. But I think it's the higher elevation. But it's always cooler here, which I'm not complaining about at all. Right. So I just showed Melissa around kind of what the plan is here. Uh, we got that cherry tree out this morning. I am going to waste dirt over in there, but uh, Melissa just had a good idea. What we'll do is uh, we'll have the gate somewhere in here, just enough to get off the road. Right. And uh, we'll put the gate somewhere in here. We'll get to that here in the next trip or two down here. But yeah, things are moving along. I do need to cut this hump out of here, though. Uh, we'll work on that th today. A couple more trees up around there. And then at that point, Melissa, we're going to need to make a decision where we're headed. Okay. Because uh, we're getting close to where we want to be, but we're going to make a slight turn to the left, and we'll figure out where we're going to put something. Okay. But as far as putting something, let's... now with uh, 40 acres of pine trees, basically, a lot of people are going to say, I should just build a regular log cabin. Which, who knows, we may do that at some point, but either a camper or one of those pre-made cabins would get us down here and somewhere to stay quicker than anything. And they're actually pretty nice. Uh, like I said earlier, I probably never would have considered them 
until I saw how easy they got that shed up to my sister's place. And uh, I'm not saying for sure this is the direction we're gonna go, but uh, it was a good call. We're pulling out of there and she's like, we should go check them out. And I'm like, ah, okay, I wanna go get back on the machine. And uh, I drove over and I'm glad I did. It was uh, pretty, pretty neat buildings, huh? They really are. What do you think? I'm not sure if many of you have seen them, but it's just, um, it goes from like a cabin, they had chicken coops, they had a nice- Little um, garages. Greenhouses, they had a variety of different options. And then they had this cabin and I'm like- Yeah. For the price of that cabin, it's cheaper than a camper trailer that I've been looking at. I've been doing some research on camper trailers and really pondering, is that gonna be best for us? You know, we yeah. want to bring Hunter down. Hunter needs a place to, to know where where am I staying? What am I doing here? And uh, yeah. camper trailer kind of would make sense. But I I said, hey, let's stop and see those. And um, Pretty impressed. Yeah, makes sense. But it would be nice once we get a spot. Uh, we're, what we're looking for here, uh, this is going to be like a base camp, sort of. You know, we want to have a place to relax. We're always doing something all the time. Once we get everything done down here, uh, you know, come down, cut some firewood or whatever, and, and just relax. There's all kind of state parks around here. Deep Creek Lake, Broadford Lake, uh, Alpine Lake, Alpine Lake. There's a ton of things to do around here, at least for what we're into doing. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, some people may not be into that, but that's what we enjoy. So uh, that's the plan. But things are moving ahead pretty well here. Uh, I'm going to get back to work. This video is going to run kind of long, so I think I'll start another video taking down two more trees and digging this hump out and uh a couple hours though, this is going to look a lot different here but anyway i think that's about it for today's video i want to thank all of you for being here and i also want to thank simply safe for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to check out that link in the description catch yeah. you on the next one